Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor version 3 HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 15. From this video session guys, we are going to create a separate module called book module. Inside this module, we are going to perform about the create operation, read operation, update operation as well as delete operation. So far inside this playlist, we had seen about all the basic concepts of HMVC tutorial. We had seen that how can we create in slice as well as we had done about the database connectivity, models, libraries, helpers and so many things inside this HMVC tutorial. Now inside this book module, we are going to perform all the operations so far we had seen that. So from the starting, we are going to create a book module and inside this book module, all these operations we are going to perform step by step. So firstly, we need to install about HMVC code igniter to our local system. So in the very first part of this playlist, we had seen that how can we install to our local system. Back to browser. Now this is our GitHub repository of code igniter HMVC. Now this is the link. If I copy back to slide and pasting it here, what we have to do back to browser, open this link and go inside here either you can about the download zip folder or just copy this link and you need to type about something called git clone and this is the url so after typing this url either on the command prompt or on the terminal you will get a folder something known as code igniter hmvc so this is the folder actually i have cloned from github repository right now this is the first installation of code igniter hmvc after downloading this setup now next we want some assets file like bootstrap file jquery file as well as data tables and the validation library files so if i go back now this is assets folder inside the CSS folder we have called bootstrap data table again for the JS we have data table jQuery file as well as validation library file now for downloading these files if I back to browser for the bootstrap file now you have to open call w3 schools and the bootstrap section inside any of these links after visiting like what we have opened called bootstrap form now inside this simply we have to click on try it yourself after clicking on that this is the link of css file so copy this cdn link go to the browser and pasting it here so this is all about css just you have to save as to your local system so already I have downloaded called bootstrap.min.css as well as jquery.min.js. Now for the data table files, just visit the official website of datatables.net. Now inside this, we got about the CDN link for the data table of CSS as well as for the JavaScript. Now from this link, we are getting two assets file. Now inside this, we are getting again two assets file, so 2 plus 2 total 4 and finally for the validate.min.js, this is the official website we need to visit. If I scroll down, now inside this, as we can see that we have several CDN links, so we need to download this CDN link, something called jquery.validate.min.js all the assets file we can download so i have downloaded before making this video and categorize into css and js and finally i'm going to cut this assets folder go inside coordinator hmvc and pasting at the root setup here we have a question question is that why we have downloaded these assets file and answer is very simple is that these assets file like css and the javascript we are going to use inside the module section now this is the whole setup now we have to work on so if i copy this link and open up call the atom editor now this is our atom editor you can open your own custom editor so I am going here now inside this file section let's open folder 
Now inside this, I am pasting called Coriander HMVC and right now as we can see that the current folder is now opening. Inside this, we have called Application Folder, Assets Folder, System and the User Guide. Now firstly, I want to close this tab as the welcome messages for our Atom Editor. Now you can open all these Coriander HMVC code to your own code editor. So now, Inside this application folder, we have multiple folders as we had seen multiple times. Now inside this core folder, we have called my loader, my write router, as well as inside this libraries, we have not basically inside this libraries, we have inside this third party folder and this is all about MX folder. So to make any code editor setup to HMVC, we need a third party library, something called MX, as well as two files called MyLoader and MyRouter. Now inside this go folder, I am to create one more file and that file should be our parent controller which we are going to extend with each controller of the module. Now inside this go folder, I am to create let's say HMVC underscore let's say controller.php now inside our youtube playlist inside this HMV tutorial I actually got a comment comment is that is it necessary to make our file name something called my underscore controller up to part number 14 we had seen that this is the controller we had developed inside our core folder and we had actually extended inside our modules so my controller is the name which is not necessary to inside this core folder. We can create any file with any name inside this core folder. Simply it extends about the CI controller and after extending CI controller, we are going to extend this controller to our modules controller. Now inside this file, let's say that class HMVC underscore controller this is the file name and it will extends let's say ci underscore controller now inside this class the first thing first we need to declare about the construct function so let's say public function and here we have a construct function now inside this we are going to firstly slice about the parent constructor all we have done now now in our modules when we will make any controller so we are going to inherit this HMVC controller it means that it will be act as a parent controller for our modules so the first step we had done about making about the parent controller now collapse this core folder now go inside application and create one more folder and that folder nano known as modules now inside this modules we are going to create our module and that module should be something called book here so modules book module now inside this book module again we are going to create our folders called controllers called views and call models now basic folders we had created that now inside this controllers folder I am to create the first file and that is our controller something called book.php now inside this file firstly we need to declare about the class so class let's say book and it should be extends and about HMVC controller this is the parent controller we had defined inside go folder now first thing first we need to find our construct function so copy this syntax and pasting it here now inside this book controller let's say public function let's say that we are going to make our test method which basically checks that our code writer HMVC actually folder is working fine or not so let's say echo let's say test message runs let's say successfully this is only to test our book controller now save all these changes copy this method now back to browser now this is all about our setup inside HMVC inside HMVC we have 
code igniter hmvc now inside this we are running our application so it should be index.php something we have called book this is our module name and all about a method so if i press enter now we have test message run successfully it means that successfully we have integrated or created our first module inside our setup now next after setting all the folder structures to our system next we have to set about database so back to php my admin now let's create a database for that so it should be something called hmvc and let's say underscore book here so if i press enter now successfully we have created our database now inside this i am to create our first table and this is something called tbl underscore books either we can create this table manually or by using migration concept what we have seen inside this playlist we can also create this table from our php code so let's say that tbl books we are going to create using migration concept so right now our database is completely empty so back to our code now inside this modules book i am to create one more folder and something known as migrations inside this migration folder basically we had to create all the files which should migrate our table so before that we need to do some configurations so inside this book folder i am to create one more folder and something known as config now inside this I am to create one more file and something should be migration.php now inside this parent config folder we have a file called migration.php so I am to copy all the contents and pasting inside this migration file and this file inside our module so inside this file we need to configure according to our module now inside this config this is our file so if I scroll to top now very first add the config migration enabled so we have to make add as a true value again migration type so we want to use sequential so about these things we had discussed already so scroll down now here migration version let's say 2 and again for the migration path as we know that this file exists or all the migration file we will create inside this modules book folder and inside this migrations folder so already we have migrations which is basically right here now we have to say that something called modules and inside these modules we have called book module folder so the migrations file all we are going to store inside this directory structure so save all these changes close this file now we are going to create our first migration file inside this migrations let's say 001 and something let's say add books or something let's say tbl underscore books dot php now inside this file i'm going to create our migration class so class let's say migration and this is something called tbl underscore let's say books it should extends about ci underscore migration and inside this class we are ready to define our architecture of this tp underscore books table now inside this class we have some methods called public function up method which basically used to create our table and we have called public function and the down method it is used basically to roll back our table now inside this we are going to use called this db forge and here we have a method called add field now inside this by passing our array values we can create our columns now inside this down method let's say this db forge and let's say drop underscore table and inside this drop table let's say tpl underscore something we have called books now this is the name of the table actually we want to create that now inside this array i am to pass our first id this is the first column now inside this let's say that it should be type 
equal to it should be integer value and also we want that something unsigned equal to true here auto increment let's auto increment equal to true value and constant it should me it means that about the length so something let's say 11 value now this is the first column we had defined inside this tpl books table again if i copy pasting it here let's say here book underscore name let's say type it should be var care unsigned just remove that or instead of that let's say null equal to true and auto increment we have to remove that and constraint let's say 50 characters or 100 characters in length again if i copy this column name pasting it here and let's say book author again it should be varchar type equal to null means null equal to true and the constraint let's say about 150 characters in length the next column let's say about book publication as well as book description so copy that pasting it here so it should be book underscore publication all remain same copy again and pasting it here and it should be something called book and description so it should be type equal to text null equal to true and i am to remove that so save all these changes so successfully we have created a table inside this in point of architecture we have id book name author publication and the description now next i am to use call this dbforge and we have a method called add key and inside this i am to make our id column as the primary key so in the second we have to pass the true value and finally we are going to create our table so db forge and let's say create underscore table and the table we have called tbl underscore books here so successfully we have created our migration file back to book controller let's say that public function let's say run underscore migration now inside this method basically we are going to run our migration file so to run the migration files we need about the migration library so firstly we need to load that so this load let's say library and inside this let's say all about migration now inside this method i am to let's say this migration and we have a method called current here now it will run let's say current this field method basically runs all the migration files inside we have inside this migrations folder so let's say that if it fails to run so inside this and to print the error message so this migration and let's say we have called error underscore string method else let's say echo something migration run let's say successfully so if we save all these changes or before that i am to create a route so let's say we have one more file inside our config folder something called routes.php so let's say that route inside we have called book and let's say run hyphen migration and uh, it will run basically our book controller this is our book controller and inside this we have run migrations method so this should be book and all about the method so if i copy this route name back to browser and let's say that we are going to run that pasting it here and pressing enter now we have some error and this error basically indicates about database error so basically we need to configure about the hmvc book username and the password to our database.php so back to editor open up config back to our database.php and firstly we need to make connectivity with the database so localhost username i have called root password as root 
and the database is called HMVC underscore book. So if I, after making the database connection, back to browser, reload this page. Now, as we have seen that no migration could be found with the version 2. And it's because that we have made the migrations version something to inside the file. So close this config folder back here and inside this migration.php if I change about the migration version let's say one here so save all these changes back to browser reload this database and we have migrations folder so I am to drop that first now inside this database we have no tables again reload this route now as we can see that migration runs successfully back to database reload this page now we have a migration table basically this table is so about the migration version so if i click on this table now as we can see that we have migration version equal to one and also we have one more table called tb underscore books go here go to structure now inside this structure as we can see that book name book author book publication and book description so inside this video session guys actually we had started to create our book module now inside this book module successfully firstly we had made the setup of coding at hmvc downloaded all the assets file which basically used to create our layouts from the next video also we had made our database and created our table so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day